Yo, what's good? It's Navarro here. I uh, just want to show you how to make a nice techno rumble. Uh, so basically, I got my um, I got my symbol back here, Zavara Techno Kicks 1. And I got the, the kick here, ZV Kick 10. But you can find kicks with tails. That's the biggest thing. Make sure your kick has a tail on it because that helps the rumble. So what I'm going to do is I'll put that into a drum rack. And then I'm just going to... Just gonna crop that, and I'm gonna turn up the fade out just a little bit, just so we fade that tail out and it doesn't hit the next kick. And so we'll do a four on the floor pattern, so simple four on the floor pattern like that. Turn that up, and now what we're gonna do here is we got an audio track. You want to insert an audio track, and this will be our bass. And so what we want to do is take the audio from the drum rack or the kick, if I named it right. <laughs> yeah, so we want to take the audio from the kick. Now, you want to select in for the monitor. And now when you press play, you'll have two kicks. You wanna make sure the bass is lower than the kick. Now what we wanna do is apply audio effects. So first things first, to get the rumble, what you wanna do is add an echo. You can also add a delay, but we'll show you the echo. The echo way. <laughs> okay, so first with that, you don't have to change too much. You can play with the settings though. But um, yeah, keep it in one eighth. And we're already almost done. We're already almost done. Now what you wanna do is you want to come here to reverb, apply some reverb of your choice, but we'll go with the standard stock reverb. And we wanna turn the decay time up a little bit to about two seconds. And we'll come here and we'll turn the high cut down, kind of roll up some of those highs. And now we'll come to the diffusion network and we will roll that off to about 566. That's about good right there. Okay, now what we wanna do is, let's turn up the decay time just a little bit more right there. Okay, now what we wanna do is, we'll go to utility and then we'll insert the base model preset. And actually you can put this at the beginning or the end of the chain. Let's put it at the beginning of the chain. It's about about 80 hertz or so. Now what you wanna do is at the end of the chain, you wanna take an amp and be careful cause this amplification is an amp. Um, turn down the dry wet all the way and then just work your way back up. Now watch this, watch how we start to add to this rumble. We turn up this dry wet. So what I want to do is actually, I'm going to select the rock amp type, turn that down. And now when I turn this rock on, listen to this. Yeah, see, we got that basically. We basically got that. Now, now what you want to do is we can add an EQ8. We can add an EQ8 and we'll add sidechain compression too. Um, so this EQ8 here is just to, you know, EQ the, the bass. that off to 
shit hurts. So what we'll do, we'll come to the master really quick. I just want to put a limiter on the master just for loudness purposes. And now we want to add sidechain compression to the end of this chain for that pump. Okay, so we'll take the compressor, boom. And we'll come here, click show collapse view. And we'll come here to the sidechain toggle. Click sidechain and then take audio from the kick. Boom, you got it. And so we'll turn up the attack to about two milliseconds or so. That's fine. And for the ratio, you can you can have it. I mean you can play with these settings, but you can have it at 2.9, you can turn it up to INF. That is the main one I do though. I usually do INF. And then we'll turn down the threshold until you start to hear the sidechain compression. When we get into the brighter green, you'll hear it. See, if I turn all the way down, see? So, you wanna turn it to about right there. You know, use your ears, basically. You know, it's your choice. But yeah, um, yeah, so this is uh, basically how you do a techno rumble. This is how you do it. show you something extra too so uh, what you want to do is you want to make a kick and bass you want to highlight both of these and you want to make a group so I'm gonna name this kick and K and B group kick and bass group and if you want to do this this is just extra stuff um, take an EQ 8 and this is to make uh, a high pass filter effect it's here you know in some of the tracks so you'll take the glue compressor, go to punch in parallel, and then you'll group these two together. And then you come here to the one. Yeah, that's how you make a techno rumble with stock plugins in Ableton Live. Uh, yo, please subscribe. Uh, check out the sample pack too. I'm um, gonna start making a bunch of them and just throwing them on my Bandcamp. Uh, you can get this one, Zavara Techno Kicks One, fifty kick loops, five bucks. And uh, just be on the lookout for more of these too, cause uh, yeah, and more tutorials and everything. Cause I'm gonna start dropping a lot of knowledge that I know, you know, and Maybe you know some of the stuff and maybe it's stuff that'll help you get up to speed, you know. Um, you know, I actually do this, so you know. <laughs> you know, I'm using these tips too. It's not like I'm just throwing random stuff and you never see me. You see me all the time on Twitch, you see me performing, you see me at the club, all that. So <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night slash day. I'm ghost.